Hi, and welcome to this section of the Probability and Statistics Tutor. And in this section, we're going to continue learning about probability distributions, and we're going to tackle the uh, Poisson distribution, okay? So what you'll find out when you crack open your statistics book is that once you start learning about probability distributions, um, you'll find that there's a whole bunch of specific types of distributions that apply to certain kinds of problems, okay? We learned about the binomial. The binomial was applicable to a very specific type of problem. You know, you have n trials, so many successes within those trials, only two choices coming out of it. It had to really line up exactly, but if it did, we could use binomial, and, and it, was, it wasn't too bad once we knew that, okay? The Poisson distribution is just another kind of probability distribution that applies to a different type of problem. It's the same, uh, it's the same point, though. You're going to have a different function that's called the Poisson distribution function that you'll write down to solve these problems, and you'll really do it the same way. Once you know how to write them down, then calculating the answer, given the information in the problem, really isn't that big of a deal. Now, the other thing with the Poisson distribution is that it can sometimes be used to approximate a binomial distribution, okay? The good news is that the Poisson distribution, once we write the function down in a minute, I'll show you, it's really not as complicated uh, to write down or to calculate as a binomial distribution. So it's actually kind of a simpler probability distribution to begin with, which is nice, okay? And under certain conditions, you can actually use the Poisson distribution to approximate the uh, binomial distribution and get an answer that's pretty close to the actual binomial distribution, which is the correct answer, okay? This is useful if you're, not so much nowadays, but because we have such fast computers, but maybe 15 years ago when the computers weren't quite so fast, Calculating a binomial distribution, you know, 10,000 times in a row, let's say you're doing a study or something, could be very computationally time consuming. It could take a long time to do. But if your problem really fit in a certain mold, you could use a Poisson distribution to approximate it, which is much simpler to calculate, it gives an answer that's pretty close but not exact, and it might be perfectly acceptable for what you're trying to do. So most of the statistics books will tell you that you can approximate the binomial distribution with a Poisson distribution, and we'll do a couple of problems to show you what that's all about so, so it doesn't scare and, you know, and confuse you. It's really not a big deal at all. Um, the easiest thing to, to do to actually dive into Poisson is just to go ahead and write it down, write down what it is, write down the function, and then we're going to do some examples that you're going to find it's not going to be a big deal, okay? So the big deal to remember before I even write anything down is that the Poisson distribution really applies to occurrences of some event over a certain time interval, okay? And you'll see what I'm talking about when we get uh, in, into the problems. Over some type of interval, you might have an average number of raindrops that fall into a bucket, right? And then over a certain period of time. And then I might ask you, well, how many buckets, how, how, what's the probability that 50 drops will fall into that bucket over a, over a one minute period? Or what's the probability that 25 drops will fall into there over a, over a one second period? You see, it's all about something happening over a certain period of time. Or, or even it could be over a certain surface area or something. The certain number of events happening in that time window, that is very useful for, for a Poisson distribution, and it's really useful everywhere. I mean, if you're trying to calculate the probability that a part might fail in your car or in a television or any kind of manufacturing, it might really be useful for you to know what the probability of two components failing over the next 50,000 hours might be, because maybe you're trying to design this TV or whatever to design to be last for 52 uh, for 50,000 hours. So plus all might come in handy there. So let's go ahead and write it down and see what what it's all about. So the Poisson distribution and I'm really going to write down a lot of what I just said just to make it clear. It applies to occurrences <clears throat> 